Hello and welcome! Today I'll be showing you my load balancer which I published on the asset store for free. So what is it? It's a utility that divides work between threads and frames. So it has two functions, add main thread work and add threaded work. So the main thread to add work dividing it between frames and add threaded work to divide it between threads. So it's separate threads. Why is this useful? You divide the work between the cores, so if you have a quad core, you divide it between all the four cores if you use add threaded work, and you divide it between frames so you don't get those spikes when you have a lot of things happening at the same time. And uh, it all prioritizes and divides it internally so you don't have to bother about it, so it's quite simple. It's just a fire and forget solution, so it's very easy to use. It has a lot of uh, two unit tests, documentation, example scenes, and it also has a sketch UML, so it's the start UML which I did when I was coming up with ID for the load balancer. So let's look at the code. This is a demo code to show you how to use it, and this is the load balancer thread test. So it's to add threaded work <laughs> and it has two per frame per game object added with this code and you can see how you access the load balancer you access load balancer interface dot instant dot add threaded work and then we have the actual work which is a delegate and you can see it here down here you see the pattern so it returns void and it uh, inserts an object O and that object is set to null here, but it can be set for whatever you want to insert into the function. Priority, it's a float value with a distance to whatever happening. So zero is really important, high priority, and uh, higher values like 1000, 10,000 is lower priority. And this is because you want to use it as the distance to the player. High priority is a boolean because it's two queues per threaded work for threaded work and two queues for main non-threaded work like main thread and the high priority queue is always emptied before the low priority queue. Reference O is the object which is sending data uh, task to the test message and it's used to use remove and execute it. So if you un enter a test uh, message and it doesn't get executed or work, whatever working task you're entering, then you can remove the previously non executed task because maybe just the last one is the important one. The previous one will just be overwritten by the last one. For the main, uh, it's the same. So here you add main thread work, it runs on each update. And uh, you can see here it's all the same, with one exception, this, time consumed. So time consumed, there are a total of one per frame. So if you have a task with time consumed 0 0.5 and one with 0 0.4, both those can be run in the same frame. At least one task will be run every frame. And if there are time over for the next in queue to be run, then it will be run. Well, let's look at the demo. Here we see the load balancer view. This is the view of what's actually happening. And you can see the main thread standard priority queue increasing in length because it doesn't have the time to execute all the <coughs> work which is added, and here you can see main work 1, priority 1, 2, priority 2, priority 3, 4, 5, and 6. And uh, if we look at the console, you see that main 5 is run, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, but 6 is never run. So if we go up and look here, the queue is just increasing. But if we enter remove unexecuted, all are gone. 
So whenever a new main work 6 is added, it removes the previous ones. Here you can see the max number of threads. It's three times the number of cores. And uh, this is a well approximate value uh, of a good value. So you can change it if you want, but I think it's a good value. So if you have two cores, you will get six number of threads and so on. The threads run in uh, asynchronous mode, so it just execute as soon as there are a thread done. <laughs> and uh, the number of threads available is four. So hope you like this, and uh, if you do, please go to the asset store, download it, try it out. If you like it, please leave a like in the asset store. It helps a lot. And if you have any questions, leave them below and I will try to answer them. And if you find any bugs, please report. I will fix them. Thank you. Bye.